Holy Roman Empire. Gradually the name of Christianity spread among the peoples of Europe without its master spirit. The name Christian became popular. In the days of King Charlemagne, the title Holy Roman Empire was established. The significance of the title is illustrated by a famous picture in the chapter house at Florence, Italy. It shows the emperor and the pope seated side by side upon a throne and descending from each by step the various officers of the empire. On the emperor's side, generals, etc. And on the pope's side, bishops, the clergy, etc. Some claim this as a public acknowledgement of the marriage of the professed Virgin of Christ to civil power in the book of Revelation styled harlotry. The basis of the alliance was the doctrine which then obtained that the second coming of Christ as the Messiah to rule the world for a thousand years was thus fulfilled. The claims set forth were that it was the divine intention that Christ should be represented in the earth by the papacy and that his government should be carried on through earthly princes. This condition of things prevailed in Europe for centuries. In the 16th century, the Reformation movement sprang up. These daughters of the Church of Rome married earthly power and started holy empires of their own. This entire theory and its system received a severe blow when Napoleon Bonaparte took the Pope a prisoner to France. The spell of sacerdotal rule was broken. In September 1870, Victor Emmanuel took possession of Rome. A fatal blow. Bible students are generally agreed that church and state union is contrary to the spirit of the Bible, an error of the dark ages. That the church of Christ is not to reign with the princes of the earth, nor to be married to them but to wait for her marriage till the second coming of her Redeemer, to be united with him in the first resurrection. Then she shall reign with him forever.